Uh, my name is Trevor, and this is my wife, Suska, and we are currently living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We went to a Kenneth Copeland meeting at a Catch the Fire here in Toronto. And as he was preaching, uh, just I was, my faith was stirred and I was encouraged. I went home and uh, just getting ready for, ready for bed at night. And as I was getting ready for bed, I heard in my spirit, you're gonna go to Tulsa and you're gonna go to Tempe. I had no idea what Tulsa was. So I Googled Tulsa and found out that it was in Oklahoma and prayed about it a bit, but had no sort of sense of anything and just put it on the back shelf and went to bed. In New Year's Eve, I was uh, listening again to Kenneth Copeland's his New Year's Eve message, and he was giving a word for, at that time, for 2016. And uh, in, in his word, he said, he kind of shifted, and then he said, for some of you, God wants to send you to school. And if you go to school, he'll pay the way. And immediately just, whoo, it just like, shot, and I actually felt like physically in my body, like an arrow hitting me, and I wasn't expecting it at all. And I was like, whoa, what was that? And, uh, my, my, my mom, my friends had been kind of talking to me about pursuing a master's of education because I'm a teacher, but I put it, I had not really uh, given it too much thought. And uh, after that time though, a whole bunch of things started happening and I found out about uh, Oral Roberts University, but ORU in Tulsa, and uh, found out that they had a master's of education program, found out that it was accredited, and uh, so, my wife and I, we talked about it, chatted about it, and decided we would apply to go there. It was a big decision to make, mm -hmm. to move to another country with three young kids. And um, so we prayed about it, and uh, we still felt okay to apply. Um, Trevor was sort of at that time thinking, okay, I'll wait until March to apply. But shortly after that, um, we received an email from the school inviting students to apply for this scholarship. And I just, when I, I saw the subject line and all of a sudden in my spirit, I thought, I think this is how God is gonna pay the way. Um, so I encouraged him to apply right away. I said, I think you should do this soon because the deadline is actually ending the beginning of March. Um, so he, uh, he was working on it and decided to apply for the scholarship as well. So we applied and um, we went down there and uh, we, we tried to get off timer from work. And I, so I applied for a leave of absence without pay. And just two days before we had booked, actually we could booked our tickets and everything, we, we got the approval. It was my daughter's birthday. So on my daughter's birthday, we got the approval to leave two days before we were supposed to go. And we also needed a thousand dollars just for the, the expenses going back and forth. And just that money just came in like from retroactive pay for our youngest son being born at the exact time. So that paid the ticket just for us to drive down and come back, so that was really good. And then we, we took off for the 10 days or so to travel down there and uh, to visit the campus. So when we drove down, uh, we I remember we pulled up right next to the campus, got out and set foot on ORU, and all of a sudden all my questions just gave way to this peace. I was filled with this incredible peace, and all of a sudden I knew good friends are waiting for us, we're gonna have a great place to live, and um, all of our expenses are gonna be paid for. And after Tulsa, we went to the Branson Victory Campaign, which was just a few hours away. And then Trevor was um, also receiving confirmation th through hearing the messages from Gloria Copeland. And so then we decided, okay, we're gonna do this. We were coming out of, uh, as my mother-in-law's like uh, Passover Seder meal, and we were coming around and I just, opened up the email and just saw, you know, you've been awarded the, the scholarship and I got a lot of, so I was like, yay, we got a scholarship. And uh, so it was like a free ride or just courses are paid for. And so I was so excited. I phoned my mom, phoned my family, phoned my friends, told everybody. So just cause like, did you read the rest of the email? And I was like, no. And she's like, well, you, you should keep reading. And then I read it and I was like, oh, and I get $15,000 stipend a year for working for the Dean of Education. So then I phoned everybody back and told them that good news too. <laughs> so through the ministry of Kenneth Copeland, there's been, uh, such a, a shift in our lives where we've had words from him and words, words from the Lord through him that have impacted our lives and have sent us in new directions to the United States and to who knows what else. And so it's kind of one of these things where in this process of walking by faith and walking with our Lord that it's continuing to, to really be a school of faith. And I sense that God was leading us not only to do uh, academic like masters of education, but also to really learn about walking in faith and what that means to live by faith.